So negotiating as assessment rubrics with students. Certainly what we know is that if you don't give the students up the rubric up front, it has very little effect. Giving the students the rubric when they get their assessment back or at the end has almost a zero effect. Uh, it's almost not worth the paper it's written on. And certainly when you give it up front, the negotiation for me is giving them a sense up front of what it means. Like just imagine, I'm going to ask you, take you outside, I'm going to ask you to jump the high jump. But I'm not going to put a bar across. I'm going to say, where you go, jump the high jump. Now for many students, they would do it because they're very compliant. Some students would look at it and say, well, how would I know if I succeeded? What does it mean? Isn't it a bit silly? And this is this notion of showing them what good enough is good, what, what good is good enough up front. And that's the purpose of rubrics. Why should it be a secret that the teacher holds for the student to have to guess what good is good enough in this particular class? And that is the power of negotiating the rubrics. Now, the negotiation to me means that sometimes the students will say, well, I already know how to do this. And if that's the case, you're going to have to change the sense of challenge. Certainly, I would argue that in any rubric, it should be what surface levels required, what deep levels required. And I separate those two out. I never put them together. I think that's just too hard a task to expect the students to discriminate between the content they need and the relationships. I make no bones about the fact of up front, I'll give them example assessments. In fact, in all my courses that I run at university, on my website, I have not only the assessment, I have examples of previous year's students assessments at the A, B and, and not so good level so they can see up front. Of course that means I have to change the nature of my assessment but that's okay, I've done that over the years. So no, I think showing assessment rubrics right up front, negotiating in terms of what they know and they don't know, I think the teacher has a responsibility of not negotiating away the sense of challenge but there is a very important role for that.